Oh man, this car is becoming a pain in the ass. But it's my car, so it's my pain in the ass. Hey yo everybody, Unreal24 here. Welcome back to another episode of My Garage. Now in the last episode we did, uh, well we kind of did some exploring. We uh, found out where we could buy cars at. I did do a little bit to my garage and put my tools on this little trolley here. And of course, while I was saving up for some cash, I did go and buy some more tools and put them out here. Just for, because certain jobs don't really need to come out here. Well, you don't need to pull them in the garage or anything like that, so. There's that. And also, I bought a car! Yeah! Now, this thing looks like a uh, old Dodge Challenger, if I were to say so myself. Although pink is not my color, but... As you know, in the last episode, I was kind of disappointed. I couldn't afford any of the cars I wanted, uh, because they were well out of my budget. But either way, I did, uh, do a few more jobs. I got almost ten grand to do, or do stuff with. Now, I want to go explore and see if there's any more, uh, tools that we can use to diagnose cars, because in the, uh, info tab, there is a diagnostics feature. And as of right now, I kind of want to explore and see if I can find a shop that uh, has, you know, multi meters, compression tests, and stuff like that. So let's uh, go ahead and explore a little bit. Alright, here we are at the junkyard. Control, hit the e brake, and shut the car off. And don't worry, that smoke coming from the uh, interior, it's just because my exhaust is right here, and I do plan on changing that eventually, but. Alright, my good sir. What do we got here? A bunch of uh, random parts. We got headliners, a timing chain. Hey, uh. Don't drink and drive, bicycle. Old man knows. Okay, glad to know you're full of wisdom. Anyways, you got any tools I could buy from you? Perhaps, uh, multimeters, a uh, compression tester, just stuff like that in nature. What is this? Whoa, what is this? What is this? An old charger. Looks like it's spent through hell, though. Can I pop the hood? Yeah. Oh, man. This thing has a lot of rust. I would buy it just to uh, go and restore it, but I don't have the money nor the time to do something like that. What's this? Okay, so this guy only seems to have junk. So... Glad to know this was a uh, waste of time. Alright. Hey, thanks for, uh... Well, I don't want to say thanks for nothing, but... Thanks for letting me browse and, uh, discover stuff. Alright. If we take a left out of here and stay on that... road for the next couple of intersections, there should be a highway that takes me... to a service center, performance store, and a pizzeria. So, okay, I can't pause while I'm in here, so. Okay, so, time for a little adventure. You know, I should probably stop for gas before I head out there as well. So, I got a hold down left click and, uh, such. I should probably close my... Okay, I don't know where the, uh, gas cap went. This is not good. I need to find that. Uh, what happened to my... Okay, there's my gas cap. Okay. Luckily, it didn't go too far. Okay. Now that we're all fueled up, let's go see what, uh, we can find. So, let's see here. From here, take a left at the first intersection, and then a left at the next one. All right. Okay, why aren't you starting? It's not starting. Why is it not starting? I just filled you up with gas. Why aren't you starting? Uh... Okay, so we need to figure out what the hell is wrong with this thing. Okay, so it cost me a hundred bucks to uh, tow the car. Diagnostics. There is... Nothing. Okay, so... So, I need to find out what's going on with my car, because it is not starting. 
And I just filled it up with gas, so that's, uh, got me a little annoyed. So, looks like I'm gonna have to figure this thing out. Okay, looks like I got a header that's gone. Starter looks pretty bad. I might have to swap that out. Uh, intake manifold. Alternator needs replaced. Okay, I'm gonna start with that starter. Try and get that replaced. See, maybe that does the trick. Okay. Alright, moment of truth before I go and throw a wrench around. No, that wasn't it. Okay. So, I have to do some work to this thing. Okay, so... Doesn't tell me how to do a diagnosis. Now, do I even have an oil plug on here? I do. Alright, looks like I'm pushing this thing into my garage. Just to try and figure out what the hell is wrong with it. Okay, so we can't really go and explore because I don't have a car, technically, because I can't get it to freaking start. I might have to do a bunch of small jobs to try and get this thing up and running. So, word to the wise, make sure the, uh, lift isn't on the exhaust pipes. Is that even the right gearbox? That looks like the completely wrong gearbox. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, just empty out the oil. I'll go through and empty out the uh, radiator as well. Just drain the fluids out of it. This is the typical life of a mechanic. Still fixing a, uh... What, a used car salesman uh, went and fucked up. Let's go ahead and rip, uh... All this out of here. So I can try and replace... Some of the parts that are worn. I might go ahead and replace the spark plugs too in the alternator. So it looks like those are a little out of whack. Okay, that radiator hose is bad. Okay, we're gonna keep all the good over here and all the bad over there. And the thing, this is gonna be my daily driver. Here I am doing a fuck ton of work to it. What is causing you to stay on there? Seriously? For real? Sink a bunch of money in the car that I just bought. Yeah, that's probably the steering column. That's probably gonna need replaced. Oh, man, I was hoping to drive this thing around and just have a good time, but it turns out I've got a shit box. What's that? What's this? Fuel pump. That could be the... Oh, oh, that could be the main thing that's causing me my issues. I guess for now we're gonna focus on just getting all the parts that need replaced, replaced. And then I'm gonna do something else. What? I don't know. Why can I not pull this? Why am I not able to pull that? What is keeping me from pulling this? Is there a bolt somewhere that I forgot to loosen? And eh, I just wanted to take this thing for a spin and go have a good time. Yeah, you know what, fuck it. Let's uh, go ahead and just pull the motor. Where's the bolt for the motor mount? Anything else keeping it to the motor? Doesn't look like it. Hopefully I don't need an engine hoist just to get this thing out. Okay, that's chain. I don't need to do that. I want to pull the... I didn't want to pull the dipstick. Come on. Okay, that's the uh, drain plug, I think. Oh, man, this car is becoming a pain in the ass. But it's my car, so it's my pain in the ass. Yeah, pistons look pretty worn, too. I might want to replace a couple of those. Okay, that just fell off, along with that head gasket. So, do I need to spray WD-40 on here or something, or... Oh, is there... Do I need to spray shit with WD-40, or do I just need to take a hammer to it? I'm thinking just take a hammer to the fucking thing. I'm done asking, car! Um, do I... What do I do? I gotta use the freaking pry tool or something? Okay, pry tool, let's see if that does anything. Nothing. Nothing at all. Why you no come off? This is starting to annoy me. I just lose the... All that for one freaking bolt. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I am completely okay. I am not mad at the car at all. I'm perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Let's uh, get these pistons out of here. Get those replaced. All right. 
Now for the task of putting the car back together. Did I buy the wrong header? I bought the wrong header! Exhaust is back on. Don't have to go back under the car anymore, so... Go ahead and, uh... Okay, so we're officially done with the car lift. Now it's just getting the rest of this engine put back together. So where is the timing cover? There. Okay. She's all oiled up. She's got, well, damn near a whole new engine. Just some spare part, well, parts replaced. The uh, air filter phases through the hood, no big deal. Okay. E brake is on, right? Okay. Neutral. Moment of truth. It still doesn't start. Why don't you start? Okay, I'm stuck in my trolley now. Um, not good. Not good. Uh, trolley? Okay, we're good. Is there something to do with the freaking gas tank or something? That gas tank isn't bolted in. Okay, I might have to actually replace that. And then go fill up the gas tank. Oh, crap. That's why. I filled the car up with diesel! Fuck! I guess I should have just paid attention to that. Make sure I put gas in it, not diesel. Okay, so luckily I need to replace the gas tank anyways, because that thing is, uh... That thing's a little fucked up. Alright. Gas can back on. Close that. Close the trunk. All that because I accidentally put in diesel instead of gasoline. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to go fill it in with the right gas this time. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Okay. Where's my gas cap? There it is. Okay, so... A couple grand later, and uh, a realization that there is two different fuel types in this game. But, either way, I'm probably going to do some stuff off of uh, camera now, since I did kind of waste all the time trying to figure out what I did in the car. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Please leave a like if you did. It'd be really supportive. If you're new, please subscribe. And with that, I will uh, catch you guys in the next one. Later.